<laughs> the cutest boy ever. Second leap. And people so speak. we're gonna be vlogging a little bit of this experience but we are going to something that's called scary wood and it's a theme park that's like an hour from our house <laughs> there's my sister and Jaylee um, but every year in the month of October they turn it into scary wood so it's a haunted theme park and they have like five different haunted house attractions they have a ride that goes backwards it's just like a whole bunch of fun so we're gonna vlog a little bit of it once we find a parking oh spot but it is so busy this year it's so busy we're going to clown town people this is the best one there used to be a million there used to be way more. guys they're not real they're fake Yo! Creepy. See, Olivia, it smells like cotton candy. Oh, there they are. There's the hanging ones. I'm so. Ew. <laughs> Oh my god! I'm scared. <laughs> I want to get a pick of one. And there's 20 bucks in the middle of the Look Oh! <laughs> I like to do the bumper cars that are up there. Yeah, the bumper cars are fun. <laughs> Look at that one up there. It's creepy. Oh, the one hanging? Yeah. Ooh. Isn't it cool? Sorry. What's going on, guys? So, we went to Scare last night with everyone, as you saw a little bit. Not really. Um. We are headed to Beck's Harvest House. It is in Mead, Washington. Super cool, uh, huge area. They have like a corn maze, a kid's play zone. Um, pie making stuff, all sorts of pumpkins and squashes and they have food vendors out there on the weekends. Like mac and cheese, like gourmet mac and cheese and gourmet like grilled cheese sandwiches and all that kind of stuff. But the best part, is they have these pumpkin donuts. It's pumpkin donuts covered in cinnamon sugar and they make them, like they fry them right in front of you and then dip them in cinnamon sugar and then give them to you. And they are so good, but you have to wait like an hour in line for them because of how popular they are. Uh, and we will definitely be waiting this year again because last year they were amazing. I was just gonna say we're not gonna have service, so we're not gonna show you. But <laughs> don't. we don't need service to uh, to vlog. Sorry, I've been a little bit disconnected from the vlog life lately. Um, I feel like it's just a, a season in life. I'm like busy at work, got stuff going on. Life's just crazy, and I just have been tired. And sorry, I have not exactly felt like being in front of the camera for the last like month or so and I'm very sorry for that. But you will see this ugly mug much more often. Hey guys, we're here at Beck's Harvest House. It is crazy. We got Mama Feed Little Man out of a bottle because it's about that time. But you should see how many people are here. Look at this. All these are cars, and that keeps going on and on and on. Hannah and Shaylee are already in line for pumpkin donuts. They're gonna hold our spot until we're done. And then we're gonna go get in line as well. Olivia got lost and went to the wrong one. And we have no clue where Jake and Ashton are, but we will figure it out. 
<laughs> we got our donuts, guys. It took like 45 minutes, but we got them. And we got caramel apples, and we got That's it. grilled cheeses. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're not gonna show the pumpkin. We got the whole crew. So here is the quote unquote pumpkin patch, more like just a bunch of pumpkins they brought in. There's Ashlyn, Jake, Emmett, but pumpkins. The cutest boy ever. Oh my. So we finally made our way back to church for the second time since Israel has been born. It's just every single week Every single weekend, we're either going to see family or having family come see us. So it's been crazy trying to get to church, but we're happy to finally be back. I'm just sitting in the parents' room right now, feeding him, and I'll probably stay in here up until worship is over because I didn't realize how crazy loud worship is until I had a newborn. Just got out of church and we are headed to the good Target because we could have we could have gone to the one that was right down the road from church, but that Target is not a good Target. And when you go to Target, you want to have the Target experience, I told Aiden. So we're driving like 20 minutes out of the way just to go to... Well, he says it's closer to home, which is true. But still, it's kind of a detour to go to this Target. But I'm just saying you have to have the good Target experience. And this is the one that I love. So we're gonna go there because Israel is almost out of newborn diapers. And it's so funny because in the beginning I thought that I had bought way too many newborn diapers that we weren't gonna need them because usually babies go through newborn diaper or they don't even go through. That's what I'm trying to say is they don't go through all of their newborn diapers because they move up so quickly but he still fits them perfectly. And I feel like if we were to move him up to size ones that he would leak out of them. So we're gonna get another, hopefully big box of newborns. Um, and then look around. This little man is doing really good. And he is wearing a onesie by Loved Baby, which is a very pricey um, shop, but I got it at a thrift store for only six dollars. I love going to the thrift store. Say hi guys. Hi. Okay, so I think that they do this on purpose. For sure. And they don't like make the big boxes. But cute, look at the Christmas ones. He'll probably be able to fit into these. Mm -hmm. What is this? Buy two, get to another child. But that's just for these yes. thick ones, not the small. So how many? Everything they don't have boxes in this newborn. Yeah. They don't even do. It. They don't even do it for Sims Generation either. They'd have to do it on purpose. Okay. Well, how many should we get? Two. Okay. He hasn't had this kind yet. All right, Mister. How's it going in here? Hmm? Do you want your bink? No? Okay. Hello guys, so today is Monday and this little guy is going through his second leap. As you can tell. His first leap, he did not act like any different at all. I didn't even notice really that he was going through his first leap. But this one, I've definitely noticed a change in his behavior, his eating habits, just how he's been feeling. He definitely prefers me over anybody else. He's very grumpy. His appetite has gone down. His naps have not been good throughout the day. So he is having a pretty rough time with this second leap. And this is only like... They say that they can start the leaps a couple days early or a couple days late, and I think he started his like two days early, and it's supposed to last for up to two weeks. It is 1.20, and we are going to start prepping dinner because we are getting into crock pot season, 
which is one of the best seasons ever. We're gonna make chicken and rice. You're not happy. Hopefully, we can make chicken and rice. <laughs> Look at this grumpy face. You got a grumpy face. You okay? You're so grumpy. Oh, my grumpy boy. So I successfully got our crock pot started. I just kind of threw a bunch of things together. I put chicken broth, chicken, minced garlic, salt, pepper, and a couple of other things in there. And also I'll be making some rice when it's closer to dinner time. Me and Israel are just playing in his room right now. He's in a good mood because he had a tiny bit of a nap and then he just ate. He's playing on his little play mat right now and he requested that I get his binky for him. So I went out and grabbed it. Are you talking to the vlog? Are you talking to them? Yeah, are you talking to them? I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog right now so I can go ahead and get it up for you guys today. Since it's Monday and my uploading schedule is Monday, Wednesday, Friday. But you guys, I don't know what you want to see from me. Aiden is really not in many vlogs right now, as he said, because he is constantly working. He's moving up in his job and he doesn't get home until like nine, 10 sometimes in the middle of the night um, and then on the weekends he just doesn't feel like being on camera because he's just exhausted and trying to recoup for the next week basically right now it's kind of just all about me and israel and then aiden here and there but please let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see because I'm trying to keep up on the schedule of Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I have a list on my phone of like video ideas, but I've already done like a bunch of them already. So I want to know what you guys want to see. So please, please, please comment down below what you guys want to see. Okay, I'm going to show Israel to you guys so you can look at him. This week's shout out is going to go to Nancy Grace Hearts. And if you would like a shout out, all you have to do is be subscribed and comment down below. I'm also going to read a verse of the blog like usual. Okay, so this verse comes from Romans 6.14 and it says, For sin shall no longer be your master because you are not under the law but under grace. What do you think of that? What do you think of that verse? Huh? You agree with that verse? All right, guys, so that is gonna be the end of this video. Make sure that if you have any prayer requests to leave them down below. And if they're too personal, all you have to do is DM either Aiden or I on our Instagram. Also make sure that you leave your video suggestions. Oh my gosh, Boog is crazy. Leave your video suggestions down below for me so I can get to filming. You guys are loved, and we will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Say bye.